Maker look at it. So much easier to ignore when it's far away. And to actually walk out of it, to be that close. If I hadn't been saved by Inquisition soldiers, I don't know what would have happened. Inquisition soldiers? That's not what I've heard. The Breach, the Divine's death, the Wardens. It doesn't make sense. There's so much we don't know. Your experience with the Wardens will certainly be useful. Mostly the treaties, I expect. Old parchments you're welcome to. What about you? How do you fit into all this? I just want to help stop the war. Try to put things back in order. A worthy goal, one I'm happy to support. For me, I'll be satisfied so long as we find the bastards that killed the Divine. They owe us some answers. I've heard rumors of abandoned Warden camps all over these parts. If we have time, I'd like to take a look, see if there's anything we can salvage. Let's talk about the Grey Wardens. You must know a lot about them. Ah, the Wardens. I'm afraid we're less exciting than we seem. The Blight's been over for ten years. What do Wardens do when the world's not ending? There are still Darkspawn. Just because we killed so many of Ferelden doesn't mean they're gone. And the world is not so peaceful that there's no use for good men with swords. Sometimes you have to figure out for yourself what the pledge to protect others really means. It's not always about just archdemons and blights. Where were you during the blight? I was in Ferelden. On my own, like always. Quietly killed my fair share of Darkspawn too. You haven't had contact with other Wardens for a while. Why were you on your own? It's what I've always done. Recruitment only requires one man. Besides, I've always been a loner. Works best for everyone that way. So you have no idea where the rest of the Wardens are? Do you find that odd? The Blight is over. We don't need an organized force. And orders don't change much from day to day. <laughs> for the last thousand years or so, it's been just find Darkspawn, kill them, repeat as necessary. Let's continue this at another time. As you wish. I'll be here if you need me. I want to hear more about you. <laughs> Compared to yours, my life will seem dull indeed. Your name, Blackwall, doesn't sound all Asian. Marcher then? Ferelden? I was from the Free Marchers originally. Markham. That was a long time ago. Another life. I hear that many Wardens were once criminals. You're right. And when you join, your past is forgotten, so let's leave it that way. What did you do before you became a Warden? I was... a soldier. A, a nobody trained to wield a sword and follow orders. I grew weary of fighting other men's wars. So you became a Warden? More or less. Becoming a Grey Warden it was the first time I felt like I mattered. The life I led before seems hollow in comparison. Perhaps one day it will fade away. Why did you join the Wardens? Because they remember honor and sacrifice. Words that have little meaning to the rest of us. Because they lay down their lives for those they have sworn to protect. We all need to believe there are such men in the world. I needed to believe I could be one of them. We can continue this discussion at another time. Very well.
What was that? We don't know what these rifts can do. That one appeared to alter the time around it. Make her have mercy. It's over. Open the gates. Do you require a mana cleansing to remove the residual energies on your staff? The Circle's training in energy modulation is thorough. I sincerely doubt you could add anything. So you intend for your staff to carry that particular aura? Is that a problem, my dear? No, no, as you were. We spread word the Inquisition was coming. But you should know that no one here was expecting us. No one. Not even Grand Enchanter Fiona. If she was, she hasn't told anyone. We've arranged use of the tavern for the negotiations. Agents of the Inquisition, my apologies. Magister Alexius is in charge now, but hasn't yet arrived. He's expected shortly. You can speak with the former Grand Enchanter in the meantime. The Vale is weaker here than in Haven. And not merely weak, but altered in a way I have not seen. We should talk to the Grand Enchanter. people dying for want of simple herbs. My apologies. Can I help you? Are you running short of healing herbs? Yes. We've many injured from attacks by those cursed Templars. I need the herbs to treat people's wounds. It's too dangerous to go hunting through the hills to gather more. I've a list there of the herbs I need. There are refugees at the crossroads who would benefit from a healer. Of course they would. These attacks by the Templars have endangered countless innocent lives. But if I go to the crossroads to help, I might end up in danger myself. I doubt those refugees would risk their lives for a knife here. Why should I risk mine for them? Have people called you a knife here? Every day. They need the salves I sell, but they spit on me once they've paid. These villagers only tolerate me because Templars killed their human healer. I doubt the humans at the crossroads would be any different. Save yourself and all the villagers will remember is that you hid, even though they did the same. If you help the refugees, they may not love you, but they will hold their tongues before calling you knife fear. All right. If the Inquisition soldiers are there, I might be safer, regardless. I'll see you at the crossroads soon. Just give me a moment to gather my things. May I help you? Are you running short of healing herbs? Yes. I need them to keep wounds from going bad. It's too dangerous to go hunting through the hills to gather more. I've a list there of the herbs I need. Goodbye. Stay safe out there. If you say so. No man needs statues so great as those whose remnants lie toppled in these hills. These statues come from ancient dreams of blood and bone, lost to the memory of man. Tell me about your people. They say a spirit dwells in a small lake south of the highway. The girls of the village bring it daisies and ask for love, but rarely does it listen. 
Well, tis a spirit of valor, not love, and it favors blood lotus flowers. Mother, I had the dream again last night. No, there'll be no talk of that. It was so real. Ah, so and when I woke up, the sheets were as cold as ice. For the first time in all these years, I fear I will not be visiting your ashes. What world is this? That demons and brigands stop a man from taking flowers to his wife's shrine. What if I took flowers to your wife's shrine for you? I... I do not know what to say, except thank you. I never expected anyone not of the blood to care. My Senna would be grateful. Her shrine lies on a hill to the west, near the table stones. Thank you. Stay safe. Walk in peace. Yes. Please, are you with the Inquisition? As you've wandered, have you by any chance seen a ram that is, um, different? Lord Wolseley wandered off, and he's very special. If you could find him, I'd be most grateful. What makes your ram so special? Well, he's always brought the family luck, and his advice helped us make our fortune. Your ram offered advice? He's a very special ram. Your ram has gone missing. Yes. I'm certain that if he heard his Jimmy missed him, he'd come right back. He's likely at our family's old summer cabin. It's by the lake in the southern hills. If you do find him and send him back, I'd be happy to pay you. I'll speak with you later. If you find my ram, please send him home. Welcome, Agents of the Inquisition. First Enchanter Vivienne? My dear Fiona, it's been so long since we last spoke. You look dreadful. Are you sleeping well? What has brought you to Redcliffe? We're here because of your invitation back in Val Royaux. You must be mistaken. I haven't been to Val Royaux since before the Conclave. If it wasn't you who invited me here, who was it? I... I don't know. Now that you say it, I feel strange. Whoever or whatever brought you here, the situation has changed. The Free Mages have already pledged themselves to the service of the Tevinta Imperium. Fiona, dear, your dementia is showing. An alliance with Tevinta? Do you not fear all of Thedas turning against you? I understand that you are afraid, but you deserve better than slavery to Tevinta. As one indenture to a Magister, I no longer have the authority to negotiate with you. What about the giant hole in the veil that's spewing demons everywhere? You're just gonna pretend it isn't there. I am not forgetting the breach, but we can only fight one war at a time. The Templar threat was immediate. If we live, we can worry about the Torn Veil. Welcome, my friends. I apologize for not greeting you earlier. Agents of the Inquisition, allow me to introduce Magister Girion Alexius. The Southern Mages are under my command, and you are the survivor, yes? The one from the Fade? Interesting. I'd like to know more about this alliance between the Rebel Mages and the Imperium. Certainly. What specifically do you wish to know? I haven't seen any sign of Redcliffe's Arl or his men. The Arl of Redcliffe left the village. Arl Tegan did not abandon his lands during the Blight, even when they were under siege. There were tensions growing. I did not want an incident. 
I'd like to know more about this alliance between the Rebel Mages and the Imperium. Certainly. What specifically do you wish to know? The Grand Enchanter told me she was indentured to a Magister. Our Southern Brethren have no legal status in the Imperium. As they were not born citizens of Tevinter, they must work for a period of ten years before gaining full rights. As their protector, I shall oversee their work for the Imperium. I'm not clear on when exactly you negotiated this arrangement with Fiona. When the Conclave was destroyed, these poor souls faced the brutality of the Templars who rushed to attack them. It could only be through divine providence that I arrived when I did. It was certainly very timely. What does the Imperium gain from taking rebel mages under its wing? For the moment, the southern mages are a considerable expense. After they are properly trained, they will join our legion. You said not all my people would be military. There are children, those not suited. And one day I'm sure they will all be productive citizens of the Imperium when their debts are paid. If you're leading the mages now, then let's talk. I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. It is always a pleasure to meet a reasonable man. Felix, would you send for a scribe, please? Pardon my manners. My son Felix, friends. I am not surprised you're here, containing the breach is not a feat that many could even attempt. There is no telling how many mages would be needed for such an endeavor. Ambitious, indeed. Does that mean you'll lend your mages to our cause? There will have to be. My lord, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Are you all right? I'm fine, father. Come, I'll get your powders. Please excuse me, friends. We will have to continue this another time. Fiona, I require your assistance back at the castle. I don't mean to trouble everyone. I shall send word to the Inquisition. We will conclude this business at a later date. Come to the Chantry. You are in danger. Did the Magister's son give you that? Why would he help you? We'll be careful, but we need to figure out what's going on here. Magister Alexius does not approve of those without magic like you and me. You may not wish to stay long. Many villagers have already left to escape his ire. What does the Magister have against you? He does not like to be reminded of what mages can become. He says all Tranquil must leave Redcliffe, but who would take us in? What are Tranquil? Those like me, without the strength of will necessary to protect ourselves from demons. Rather than risk me becoming possessed, the Circle removed my connection to the Fade. My magic is gone, along with my dreams and desires. Those now in Redcliffe prefer not to see us. How long have Tevinters been here? Magister Alexius arrived at nightfall, two days after we retreated from the Temple of Sacred Ashes. He forced anyone without magic out of the castle, save those he required to serve him. Even the Arl was sent away. Farewell, then. One moment. You are a member of the Inquisition, are you not? I am an alchemist. You must require potions. If the Magister will not have me here, Perhaps I can offer my services. 
We would be delighted to have you working for the Inquisition. Thank you. While one lives, it is good to believe there is still a use for one's talents. We don't need your kind here. Your Inquisition's just Templars by another name. Who are you? Linnea. Just Linnea. Don't ask what Circle Tower I'm from, because we're done with that. We're all free mages now. You'd rather bow to Devinter than join the Inquisition? All you Chantry types think the same way. The Imperium is a great evil that must be avoided. It's just because they're ruled by mages. No one wants us to look at them and say their mages are free and the world hasn't ended. Don't magisters summon demons and practice human sacrifice? The Chantry says whatever they think will scare us. What's wrong with blood magic? People don't like the idea of us controlling their thoughts, but they have no problem with us throwing fireballs in their wars. In Tevinter, the mages police themselves. It works. I'm here because I believe mages deserve their freedom. Right, and I'm the Empress of Orlais. Go back to your Templars. We don't need you. Inquisition, huh? I wish to Holy Andraste you'd gotten here sooner. These Tevinters make my shoulder blades itch. Who are you? Name's Talwit, formerly of the Circle of Magi in Hosburgh. Lived my whole life there. Since I was ten years old and came into my magic. Three meals a day. Quality education. A roof over my head. If you're not summoning demons, a mage tower's a fine place to be. If you were happy in the circle, why are you here with the rebels? We're all rebels now. The vote is sort of that. The majority wanted to dissolve the circles. The rest of us went with them and were cut loose. There are still some of us who are loyal in the Empress's court. I figured I'm better off with my fellow mages than on my own. You're not happy with this new alliance? Something's not right about that lot. They're not like us. Magic or no, I'd rather count myself among decent folk than stand with magisters. How did the Grand Enchanter end up working with Tevinter? One minute. We were bracing for the Templars to attack. The next, we had a Magister ally. It was a stroke of luck that's given us an edge. In a way. Out of the frying pan. Goodbye. Be careful. The Tevinters likely aren't happy you're asking questions. Of course. They say Andraste sent you to save the world. If it'll help save lives and bring peace, I'll be the first to believe. I'm trying. I hope I don't disappoint. I hope so, too. Are you working for the Mage Rebellion? Mages are children of the Maker, no less than the rest of us. They struggle no less with questions of faith. Does that mean you support their freedom? Given a choice between the Circle and death, most mages willingly gave up some small freedoms for safety. But the pendulum swings, and now it seems any restraint is too much. I think they should have a chance to prove they deserve a freedom. I don't see any other priests in the village. Where is everybody? The Magister had the others escorted out for their own safety. But I refused. He can throw me out if he wants. Until then, I tend to my flock. What are your feelings on the mages working with Tevinta? The Imperium burned Andraste. Since then, we have led four exalted marches against them. Yet in all those marches, they still acknowledged the Maker. Now I speak of him and the Magister's laugh. Something has happened, and I dread to learn what. 
I will leave you to your duties. Make us feed you, my child. I am Sister Tanner. May I help you? I found the letter you sent a Templar named Corin. What? Shit. You can't prove anything. A letter from a rogue Templar. Nobody is going to care. So, what do you intend to do? Let's see. Impersonating a sister. Smuggling, dishonoring Chantry Road. I can think of more if you like. Or you could put your skills to use for the Inquisition. And you'd keep quiet? Nobody else has to know? That will depend on how honest your efforts are on our behalf. All right, I'm in. Seems like the Inquisition is the safer bet these days. <laughs> Good. You're finally here. Now help me close this, would you? That work exactly <laughs> you don't even know do you you just wiggle your fingers and boom rift closes who are you ah getting ahead of myself again I see Dorian of house Parvis most recently of Minrathus how do you do another Tevinter. be cautious with this one suspicious friends you have here magister Alexius was once my mentor so my assistance should be valuable, as I'm sure you can imagine. I was expecting Felix to be here. I'm sure he's on his way. He was to give you the note, then meet us here after ditching his father. Alexius couldn't jump to Felix's side fast enough when he pretended to be faint. Is something wrong with him? He's had some lingering illness for months. Felix is an only child, and Alexius is being a mother hen, most likely. Are you a magister? All right, let's say this once. I'm a mage from Tevinta, but not a member of the Magisterium. I know Southerners use the terms interchangeably, but that only makes you sound like barbarians. You're betraying your mentor because... Alexius was my mentor. Meaning he's not any longer, not for some time. Look, you must know there's danger. That should be obvious even without the note. 
Let's start with Alexius claiming the allegiance of the mage rebels out from under you. As if by magic, yes? Which is exactly right. To reach Redcliffe, before the Inquisition, Alexius distorted time itself. He arranged it so he could arrive here just after the Divine died. You catch on quick. That is fascinating, if true, and almost certainly dangerous. The rift you closed here. You saw how it twisted time around itself, sped some things up and slowed others down. Soon, there will be more like it, and they'll appear further and further away from Redcliffe. The magic Alexius is using is wildly unstable, and it's unraveling the world. You're asking me to take a lot on faith. I know what I'm talking about. I helped develop this magic. When I was still his apprentice, it was pure theory. Alexius could never get it to work. What I don't understand is why he's doing it. Ripping time to shreds just to gain a few hundred lackeys? He didn't do it for them. Took you long enough. Is he getting suspicious? No, but I shouldn't have played the illness card. I thought he'd be fussing over me all day. My father's joined a cult, to Vinter Supremacists. They call themselves Venatori. And I can tell you one thing. Whatever he's done for them, he's done it to get to you. Alexius is your father. Why are you working against him? For the same reason Dorian works against him. I love my father, and I love my country. But this? Cults? Time magic? What he's doing now is madness. For his own sake. You have to stop him. It would also be nice if he didn't rip a hole in time. There's already a hole in the sky. Why would he rearrange time and indenture the Mage Rebellion just to get to me? They're obsessed with you, but I don't know why. Perhaps because you survived the Temple of Sacred Ashes. You can close the rifts. Maybe there's a connection. Or they see you as a threat. If the Venatori are behind those rifts or the breach in the sky, they're even worse than I thought. Do you have any suggestions? You know you're his target. Expecting the trap is the first step in turning it to your advantage. I can't stay in Redcliffe. Alexius doesn't know I'm here, and I want to keep it that way for now. But whenever you're ready to deal with him, I want to be there. I'll be in touch. Oh, and Felix, try not to get yourself killed. There are worse things than dying, Dorian. <laughs>